In this video, I'm going to show you how to use tags in OneNote. Here's what we're going to cover. What tags are and the benefits of using them. How to use built-in tags to stay organized. How to create custom tags tailored to your needs. How to organize tags for easy access. And tips for searching and managing notes using tags. I'm also going to review flags, which are similar to tags, but integrate with Microsoft Outlook and To-Do. And I'm going to share a bonus tip at the end on how to customize tags using emojis. Feel free to use the timestamp in the description below if you want to jump around. So what are tags? Tags in OneNote are like little labels you can stick to your notes to keep things organized. They help you categorize content, make information more searchable, and allow you to quickly locate important details. Tags can be used for different purposes, such as highlighting action items, marking important ideas, labeling questions for follow-ups, and marking references. There are some obvious benefits of using tags. Tags visually stand out, making it easier to locate specific information in a large note page. Your eyes will naturally jump to the tag note snippets. You can search for tags across your entire notebook to find all related notes in one place. For example, if I want to see all the questions that I tag for follow-up, I can find them easily. You can create tags that suit your unique needs, whether for work, school, or for personal projects. For example, I created a custom tag for waiting for. If I'm waiting for someone to get back to me before I can take action, I tag the notes with this custom tag. I'll show you how to set this up later. Now let's start with the basics. If you want to access tags, make sure you're in the Home tab and then navigate to the Tag section. If you hit the drop down, you'll see the list of all the tags that are available to you. Now your list of tags may look different than mine because I customized some tags and I resorted them. But I'll show you how to do all this later, so don't worry about it. For now, if you want to tag a note snippet, you can just click inside the text so that it's in line. You can highlight the whole thing if you like and then just go to the drop down and apply the tag you want. So I'll say important. I'll do the same thing. This time I'm going to click in line, right mouse click, and then I have the same option from here. So I'll click important. And lastly, if you were to hit the drop down, you'll see that the first nine tags have shortcut keys assigned to them. So if I want this question mark, I'm just going to click in line and hit Control 9, and that'll tag this line with a question mark. Now, if I want to remove these tags, they're simple. You just have to repeat the action. So if I want to remove the star tag, click in line, click on the star tag, that'll remove it. Same thing if I were to right mouse click, choose a drop down, click important, that'll remove it. If you have multiple tags, in one line. So for example, I have important to do. So this line is now marked with three different tags. If I want to remove it all together, I can hit the drop down, click on remove tag. Same thing if you were to right mouse click, hit the drop down, you have the same option at the bottom of the list, remove tag. It's not highlighted because there's nothing to remove at the moment, but you get the idea. While built-in tags are simple to use, being able to modify existing tags or create new tags is incredibly useful. So here's how you do that. So I'm going to hit the drop down again for tags. And at the bottom here, you have the option to customize tags. I'm going to click on it. Let me bring this from my second window. So here we have the option to either create a new tag or modify an existing tag. They work exactly the same way. So let's go to create new tag. I can name it. And I can choose a symbol. I can even choose a font color. If, if I want to highlight the label, I can do that as well. And you can see a preview of what that would look like. Click OK. And it'll add it to the top of the list, which I don't want. So if you want to change the sorting order, remember only the first nine 
tags get the shortcut key assigned. And I don't want this to be the first one on the list. So, so the way you move it is while the tag is highlighted, I'm going to click on move down tag queue. So it's changing position and it's getting the different keyboard shortcut assigned. I'm going to move it all the way down the list where it's out of the top 10 position and it no longer has the keyboard shortcut assigned. Now, if I want to modify an existing tag, let's say good memory, this is not a tag that I'm going to be using. So I can modify the tag and same thing. I can rename it. I can change the symbol, change the font color, change the highlight, and then hit OK. That'll apply the change. Now, if I want to delete a tag, again, very simple. So I'm going to go back to the one that we just created and just hit the X. That'll delete the tag. I want to share a little word of caution here. Customizations you make to tags are saved locally to each computer. This means if you use multiple PCs, your tags and their sequence may not sync across devices, which could result in your keyboard shortcuts being mapped differently. If you often switch between devices, take a few minutes to set up your custom tags in the same order on each computer for consistency. Here's how I use tags in my daily workflow. Use the checkbox tag to create actionable lists. As tasks get completed, simply check them off. Whenever I come across an acronym, business term, or concept that might be interpreted differently by different people, I jot down the correct definition and tag it for future reference. When a discussion sparks a question that requires follow-up, I tag it. This helps me track and address all open questions efficiently after the meeting. I also use this tag for when I'm learning a new skill. For example, I'm currently learning the basics of graphic design on Skillshare, who by the way is the sponsor of this video. I have my OneNote open as I go through the training modules, and if I come across a term or idea that I'm not clear on and want to explore further, I'll tag it with a question mark. By the way, if you're looking to pick up a new skill this year, Skillshare is a great place to start. Their classes are taught by industry experts and broken into small bite-sized videos, making it easy to fit learning into your day. I realize there are plenty of resources like YouTube, but finding the right videos can be time consuming. Often videos aren't part of a structured sequence, so you have to figure out the learning path yourself. With Skillshare, you don't have to worry about that. The content is high quality, logically sequenced, and even includes learning paths that has multiple classes to help you master a specific skill. Whether it's photography, design, video editing, or productivity, Skillshare has something for everyone. If that sounds like what you've been looking for, check out the link in the description below. The first 500 people to use the link will get a free one month trial. It's a great way to explore without any commitment. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. If you want to find your tag notes, make sure you're in the Home tab and then navigate to the Find Tags icon, click on it. You'll see the tag summary pane open up. Right now, I have this tag summary filtered to show actually all notebooks. Uh, sometimes if you have a lot of tagged items, you may want to filter it further down to a specific notebook or a section or even a, a page group if you like. Right now, have it on all notebooks and then on top here, I have the tags group by name. To me, that makes sense, but you can change it to show um, tags that are grouped by date, title. I'll leave it on name for now. So I have a couple of different tags. I have um, notes that are tagged for different definitions, uh, a few different ideas about golden ratio and learning Python. So for example, if I were to click on any of these tagged items, it'll take me to that note page and actually highlight the tag. So that's all the ideas uh, tag. If I were to go to the golden ratio, it'll take me to this page that shows the golden ratio. And then I have a couple of notes that are tagged as important. And I have a couple of notes that are tagged with questions. You get the idea. And I do want to share a quick pro tip. At the end of each day, I review my notes to identify any outstanding tasks or items that need follow-up. And I use the tag summary feature to filter by today's notes and create a summary page for easy access. 
So for example, if I were in different meetings and I was studying all day and I tagged different items, I would want to review that at the end of the day. And in the filter criteria, I will drop down and choose today's notes only. And these are all of the tags that I use throughout the day today. And I could just create a quick summary page and actually bring it into a OneNote note page so I can see, okay, I thought that golden ratio was important, principle of design was important, and I had some follow-up questions. They're all listed here. And then I've got a couple of to-do items that I have to check off. So this is a very helpful way to manage your follow-ups. In addition to tags, there's something called Outlook Tasks. And this integrates directly with Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft To-Do to help you manage your task. If you were to go down to the bottom here and I have this task item with a check mark, um, this says To-Do, but this is just a To-Do tag. I can click on it to indicate that the task is complete, but this doesn't live anywhere outside of OneNote. However, for this first item, let's put the cursor in line choose Outlook task, and I can put a due date for today, tomorrow, later this week, or even set a custom date here. I'm gonna to select tomorrow. Now there's a flag attached to this task item. If I navigate to Outlook, and we'll give it a second for the page to refresh. If it doesn't, I can click on this sync button. And it took a minute, but now the task shows up in my to-do. Now, if I were to hit complete on that task and go back to my OneNote, again, it might take a minute or so for the page to refresh, but it will eventually indicate that the task has been complete. So it does sync with each other. In my experience, again, unless you're gonna manually refresh OneNote and manually refresh the to-do page, it does take about a minute or so for them to sync with each other. But this is a helpful way to manage your task within OneNote and with Microsoft To Do. For those who find OneNote's tagging system a little bit restrictive, here's a creative workaround using emojis. By tagging a note with an emoji, you can leverage OneNote's search function to locate the tag notes easily. And so rather than using a tag up here, what I'm gonna do is I'll just choose a random snippet of text. I'll use window semicolon to bring up the emoji picker and I'll choose this flex uh, emoji and that inserts it there. Now, if I wanted to search, I'm not gonna go to find tag, but I'm gonna go to the standard search box and again, window semicolon and insert the flex icon there. Close it and you could already see that it picked up it's highlighting the flex icon on this page and it's found this on other pages as well. So if I were to go to habit tracker, there it is. If I were to go to December habit tracker, there it is. And you can combine this with other keywords to really zero in on your search, which is super helpful. Sometimes, however, emojis might not appear immediately in the search results. So for example, even though we have this flex icon and it's showing a few different matches in the search results, what you'll notice is that a lot of them are just on habit tracker. We're not actually finding the page, which is within our study notes, right? So the graphic design fundamentals is a title of the notes and it's not finding it anywhere here. However, if you pin the note, for some odd reason, it does then show up in the search results. So I don't know if this is a bug from OneNote. Uh, so if you are having trouble finding a match within your search results for the emojis in this box, make sure that you're pinning it and it will show up appropriately here. And you can of course navigate to it. Tags in OneNote are a versatile tool to keep your notes organized, searchable, and actionable. Whether you're using built-in tags, creating custom ones, or integrating the flags with Outlook, tags can help streamline your workflow and boost productivity. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below with your favorite ways to use tags. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.